I'm going to sit here quiet for a minute because seriously, that is like, that's just pretty. I mean, the colors are so amazing when they hit the water. It's like, you can't paint something that pretty. That's nice. So this morning I was going to talk a little bit about, um, I saw something, I read something when I was <coughs> flipping through uh, probably Facebook or something this weekend, and I thought it was interesting. And so I thought I was going to read it to you guys, because it's, it's, it actually hit me a little bit, you know, it kind of was like, ah, yeah, you're right. And it's something that I know and I believe in, but sometimes when you read it, it, it sounds different. So this is how it reads. It's a quiz to see how... You remember things. Who are the most important people that you remember? So the first part of the quiz is name the five wealthiest people in the world. Name the last five Heisman Trophy winners. Name the last five winners of the Miss America contest. Name ten people who have won the Nobel or Pulitzer Prize. Name a dozen Academy Award winners. Or name the last decade's worth of World Series winners. <laughs> and so I looked at that and I said, well, I don't know any of those. I I'm terrible. I know when I watch those award shows, I'm like, I don't even know who these people are. I'm not very good about famous people, right? And so the point of this is that we just don't remember the famous people, the headliners. Um, these are the best people in their fields, and yet we still don't know who they are or remember who they are. That awards and achievements are forgotten. People just don't remember them after a little while. They might remember, hey, that's a famous person, but they don't remember exactly what they did. So here's another quiz. And this one I think you'll do a little bit better on. I know I did. List a few teachers who ate at your journey through school. Name three friends who have helped you through a difficult time. Name five people who have taught you something worthwhile. Think of a few people who have made you feel appreciated and special. Think of five people who you like spending time with. And name a hero whose story has inspired you. It's a lot easier, right? And the lesson is, is that, you know, the people who make a difference in your life are not the ones with great credentials, the most money, or the most awards. They're the people who care about you. Oh, I like that a lot. I mean, because I feel like we should run around and give awards to the people who make us feel good, right? The people who spend time trying to make the world a better place. Who make us feel good every day. And those people don't get the accolades, but they should. I know even the simple people, the people who smile at me on the street, you know, and the grocery store, and somebody lets me go first because I just have a few items. Yeah, that makes a big difference in my day. And when I do it for someone else, it makes a big difference in their day. Not so much because I've saved a few minutes, but because I felt like somebody cared about me. And that's nice. So who are the people in your life that when you think back, you think, gosh, I'm really glad they were in my life. That I ran across them. That they today still make a difference in my life. And I know a couple weeks ago I talked about Mr. and Mrs. Sullivan, who I met back when I was, I don't know, six, five, six, seven years old. And they're not even on this earth anymore, but they still make a difference in my life. I talk about my mom a lot and the lessons that she gave me and how I hear her in my head every day, reminding me of the things that I should be doing to be a better person. I've talked about Mr. Short. I finished a lot of my talks with, you know, as my principal would say, make a good day. It's not have a good day. It's up to us to make it a good day. He makes a difference still today in my life. There's a lot of people who really make a big difference in our life. And, and there's simple little things that they probably don't even realize what they're doing. Maybe we should spend some time telling them. I remember years ago, my um, 4-H leader, Mrs. Marvin, was dying, and everyone knew she was dying. 
And my mom, oh God, it was hard. It was one of those lessons my mom gave me. She made me write her a letter explaining to her what she meant to me and the difference that she had made in my life. And I sent it to her and, and I'm glad I did. You know, you tell somebody before they die really what a difference they made. The bad part was is that her kids made me read it at her funeral. And of course, you know, as a 16, 17 year old, I bawled like a baby and was embarrassed, but I'm still glad I did it. So yeah, I would love to know. Uh, I see your grandma too, Grandma Cooksey. Um, you know, made a big difference in your life. Who, who made a big difference in your life? They're, and it's small little things. It's nothing major. Maybe somebody made cookies for you before your lunch. Or they said good morning to you every day. I don't even know their name. But who were those people that made a difference in your life? It's kind of neat. But, um, starting next week, I think next week, we'll see how it goes. But if I'm starting to hit lambs on the ground, um, you know, my sheep are do I'm going to be kind of doing these sporadically and they're going to be more from out in the field um, as uh, I see exciting things happen with the lamb so it may not be a Tuesday morning we'll see but sun has risen it's kind of hard to see behind the cloud but it's beautiful anyways I am going to turn this around and say good morning and there's a reason let's see all right I look awful this morning right sometimes I come down here and I am you know, ready to go to work and I'm going someplace and I look pretty decent. This morning I don't. I'm straight from bed. And there's a reason that I want to show you this. Is that the most important thing is to show up. Not necessarily what you look like. And if you think about those people in your life who have really made a difference, the people that you're thinking about as I'm talking about this, you're probably not thinking, wow, they looked great when they did it. What you're thinking about is how they made you feel. So if you're contemplating doing something or not doing something because maybe you don't look great, eh, throw it out the window. Show up anyways. People just want to see you. So good morning. Make it a good one. And I hope you guys have a great week. And I'll see you next Tuesday. Um, if you want to post in your comments people that made a difference in your life, I would love to hear about them. Talk to you soon. Bye.